Hi there, welcome to Fluency Goals. I am Mandeep and today we are going to learn about adverbs. Now it is a very important topic in English grammar because it is important to identify adverbs correctly. Often the learners confuse adverbs with adjectives and many a times they face a challenge in identifying the adverbs in a sentence. So today in this lesson, we are not only going to learn about what are adverbs, what is its definition, how to identify adverbs in a sentence, but we'll also learn about the kinds of adverbs, the kinds of adverbs as per their meaning and the kinds of adverbs as per the usage. And also in the end, we'll learn about the comparison of adverbs. So let's begin. Like an adjective is used in a sentence to modify, to add more information to a noun. Similarly, the adverbs are used in a sentence to add more information to the verbs. So they tell you more about the actions, how the action is per being performed in a sentence, where is it performed, when is it performed, how often. So all this additional information about a verb is provided to you by a word called adverb. Not only they modify the verbs in a sentence, but they can modify adjectives as well as another adverb. We'll learn more about this with some examples here. Look at this first example here. You are writing very slowly. Here slowly is an adverb. It is telling you how the action, action of writing is being done. So you are writing, how are you writing? Slowly. So slowly is an adverb. Now what is it modifying here? It is modifying the Whoa. Let's look at another example. I like this bright red shirt of yours. Here, red is an adjective. It is modifying the noun shirt. It is giving you more information about the noun shirt. But if we see bright here, if we look at the word bright here, it is further modifying red. So this word bright here, it is modifying the adjective red. Bright here is an adverb. Let's look at the next example here. You are running very slowly. Here slowly is an adverb and very is further modifying, giving you more information about the adverb slowly. So very is also an adverb. So we learned that the adverbs, they can modify the verbs the adjectives or other adverbs in a sentence. Now let's see how to identify adverbs in a sentence. So whenever you get confused whether a word is an adjective or an adverb, always try to look for the word that it is modifying. If it is modifying a noun or a pronoun in a sentence, then that word is an adjective. Otherwise, it is an adverb. Let's take a, let's look at some more examples here. I check my email hourly. Now hourly here is telling you about the action check. How many times do you check? It is giving you the frequency of the times that the email is checked. So hourly is an adverb here. Jessica never washes the dishes. Here washes is an action and never is telling you more information about the action washes. So never is an adverb here. The chief guest will arrive here shortly. When will the chief guest arrive? Shortly. So shortly is modifying the verb. It is giving you information about the word arrive. Now let's take this example. I can see very clearly. Here clearly is an adverb. But further, this adverb is being modified by very. So very is also an adverb. Now let's learn about the types of adverb. The first type of adverb is adverb of manner. What is manner? Manner is how. How you do something. Look at the manner you are walking. How are you walking? 
so whenever an adverb tells you how the action is performed how the action is being done that adverb is the adverb of manner let's observe these sentences here the story is well written now here well is telling you how good the story is written so well is an adverb of manner the boy works hard hard is adverb of manner it is modifying the verb works the prince fought bravely in the battle fought is a verb and bravely is telling you how that action was done so bravely is an adverb of manner the host greeted us warmly how did the host greet warmly warmly is an adverb of manner okay now moving on to adverb of place as the name suggests place indicates where where the action is being performed the boy is sitting outside the class where is the boy sitting outside is telling you where the action of sitting is performed so outside is an adverb of place due to floods there was water everywhere where was the water everywhere so everywhere is indicating the place of action so everywhere is an adverb of place come here this is the simplest sentence here only a verb is here and an adverb is in this sentence action is come and here is giving you the place of that action here is an adverb of place go downstairs and open the door downstairs is an adverb of place modifying the verb go moving on to adverb of time time tells you when when the action is performed so the question you will ask is when i'll see you tomorrow when will you see me tomorrow when will the action be performed tomorrow tomorrow is the adverb of time the principal will be late for the school today today is the adverb of time today tomorrow yesterday now these are the common adverbs of time moving on to adverb of frequency frequency tells you how often some action is done how often something happens is conveyed by the adverb of frequency take for example anna is always late for her meetings how often never sometimes or always always is the adverb of frequency she visits her friend occasionally how often occasionally occasionally is an adverb of frequency now adverbs of frequency can be further categorized into two kinds adverbs of indefinite frequency and adverbs of definite frequency the adverbs of indefinite frequency are like always never sometimes occasionally they give you the idea how often the action is done but they don't give you the exact time frame they are usually placed before the main verb in a sentence take for example jessica never washes the dishes here the main verb is washes and never is placed just before the main verb washes never is an adverb of indefinite frequency he is always working late working is the main verb and always is placed just before working so always is the adverb of indefinite frequency now what is adverb of definite frequency definite means when you know exact exactly definite means exactly so they give you more precise description about how often some action happens hourly weekly daily fortnightly monthly yearly these are the adverbs of definite frequency we get our school magazine yearly so yearly is an adverb of indefinite frequency i visit my hometown fortnightly fortnightly is an adverb of definite frequency moving on to adverbs of degree 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 tells you how much how much an action happens whether it is mildly or strongly 
so it gives you the degree or in what degree a quality is described or an action is performed these mostly appear before the adverbs adjectives or verbs that they describe and these can further be categorized into three kinds low degree adverbs medium degree adverbs and high degree adverbs now as the name suggests low degree adverbs will describe the action on a very low level of degree of the action so the action is happening but at a very lower degree of level take for example it's a bit chilly outside so only at a very low degree not very chilly so bit chilly bit is a bit is a low degree adverb john is least interested in studies least is the low degree adverb he was slightly feverish yesterday slightly we were somewhat surprised by his behavior somewhat here is a low degree adverb so the words bit slightly somewhat little these are the low degree adverbs now the medium degree adverbs are the words like sufficiently pretty fairly rather quite her dress is pretty expensive she looked rather nice yesterday the room is sufficiently big this pasta is quite tasty now high degree adverbs they describe the action on a very high degree the words like really extremely very immensely to she is extremely beautiful he is extremely kind rachel is immensely talented mohit really loves reading books so all these words here really extremely immensely these are the high degree adverbs now the adverbs can be categorized based on two kinds based on their meaning or based on their usage based on the meanings we have adverb adverb of manner place time degree frequency and based on the use we have simple adverb interrogative adverb and relative adverb now let's learn about interrogative adverbs now there are four interrogative adverbs why where when and how when adverbs are used in asking questions they are called interrogative adverbs they are usually placed right at the beginning of the sentence and they not only modify another word verb adjective or an adverb in a sentence but they also introduce a question look at these examples here when did you come so when here is an interrogative adverb of time we can have interrogative adverb of place interrogative adverb of time interrogative adverb of manner interrogative adverb of number interrogative adverb of degree how high is kutub minar how here is an interrogative adverb of degree how many boys are there in your class here how is interrogative adverb of number when did you come here when is an interrogative adverb of time where is he sitting where is an interrogative adverb of place so it's very clear that the adverbs that indicate where the action is happening are the adverb of place but if they are introducing the question also they become interrogative adverb interrogative adverb of place and similarly we can say the same for the adverb of time manner degree etc so moving on to the relative adverbs now our relative adverbs do not only modify a verb adjective or an adverb but they also refer back to some antecedent it will be clear through this example here this is the house where i lived where is modifying the verb lived but it is also referring back to house like the relative pronoun the antecedent of it the house so it is functioning as a relative adverb here so these adverbs they connect two clauses and sentences and they refer to something mentioned earlier like where when why i don't remember when i went to bed last night when here is a relative adverb do you know why the shops are closed today why here is a relative adverb now as i mentioned earlier that the adverbs can be further categorized as per their usage as simple adverbs 
relative adverbs or interrogative adverbs now all the adverbs that simply modify a verb adverb or an adjective without introducing a question or without connecting two clauses or referring back to an antecedent are simple adverbs and relative adverbs and interrogative adverbs i have already explained to you now that we have learned about the types of adverbs it's time that we learn about the comparison of adverbs like adjectives some adverbs also have three degrees of comparison not all the adverbs but some adverbs do have degrees of comparison these kind of adverbs they have the degree of comparison just like adjective like adjectives have positive comparative and superlative degree of comparison same way these adverbs also have three degrees of comparison take for example fast faster fastest swiftly more swiftly most swiftly quickly more quickly most quickly after surgery she could perform the tasks more quickly after taking calligraphy classes she could write more beautifully so here beautifully is an adverb and more beautifully is a is a comparative degree of adverb the children who take calligraphy classes they write the most beautifully here the comparison is between number of children more than two so most beautifully here is the superlative degree of comparison of adverbs now if the adverb of one syllable we form the comparative degree by adding er suffix er and the superlative degree by adding the suffix est like fast faster fastest could you run fast could you run faster than this couldn't she see me sooner here we see that soon is a single syllable adverb and sooner is formed by adding suffix er for the adverbs that end in ly their comparative and superlative degrees are formed by adding more and most respectively uh, but early here will be an exception for early the comparative and superlative will be earlier earliest simran played skillfully here skillfully will be the positive degree simran played more skillfully than her counterparts more skillfully is the comparative degree of adverb now important thing to observe here is that only adverb of manner degree and time they form the comparative degrees and there are many other adverbs that cannot be compared at all take for example i kept the book there so here we cannot compare there the minister will see you now we cannot compare now so there are many adverbs that cannot form any comparative degree and only some adverbs of manner time and degree can form their comparatives let's take a look at some some examples of adverbs their comparative and superlative degrees here ill worse worst do not speak ill she spoke even worse words or badly worse worst she behaved badly with the teacher today the patient behaved even worse with the attendance well better best john writes well mike writes better than john helen writes the best of all much more most do you work much i work more than you do harvey works most of the three of us little less least near nearer nearest far farther farthest far further furthest now some of these words we did in adjectives also but it depends whether this word is used as a modifier of a verb or it is used as a modifier of a noun so it will depend whether it is an adjective or an adverb depending on the word that it is modifying so that was all for today's lesson so we have learned the definition of adverbs what are adverbs how to identify adverbs in a sentence what are the various kinds of adverb as per their meaning and as per their usage and also we learned about the comparison of adverbs so i'll see you next week with another lesson if you have liked this video then please give a like and do subscribe to my channel every subscription serves as the greatest motivation to me to serve you with a valuable content and don't forget to share this video with your friends till then goodbye happy learning